Welcome to episode two of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we're going to continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video detailing Iris Lynx Enterprise's local tab communication setup. The Iris Lynx communication setup window consists of four parts device shortcuts, local communications, target communications, and offline tag file. Device shortcuts are names for our PLCs. In this case, I'll add one for a PLC5. Now, one thing to note here is that RSV Studio does not like shortcut names with spaces or most non-alphanumeric characters. So to be safe here, I will eliminate the space and just call my shortcut PLC5. In previous packages, these shortcuts were known as node names or topic names. Next, we have the local communications tab. This local communications tab it shows the drivers we have currently running in RS Lynx Enterprise on our computer in our development station. Here, if I right click on RS Lynx Enterprise, you can see I can add one of 10 drivers. In this case, I'm going to use the Ethernet driver. Because I'm actually on my development station, RS Lynx Enterprise can go into an online mode and actually look for PLCs. In this case, I don't see the PLC5 I wanted to add, so I'll right click and add it manually. In this case, I'll choose one of the PLC5s here, given an address that would be valid on my network. And press OK. Now again, this is an online browse. So if our Sync Enterprise cannot find my PLC, it'll make it disappear. It'll remove it from the list. To get around that, I can right click, stop browsing, right click, show all devices. At this point, I want to make a connection between my shortcut name and my physical piece of hardware. To do that, I click on the shortcut name, click on the hardware I want to tie it to, and press Apply. To check that make sure that I've done this correctly, I'll click on the PLC again, click on the processor, and ensure the Apply button is grayed out. Now I have an association between my shortcut name and my processor on my local communications tab, and now I can actually build screens, build tags, and test everything out on my development station. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.